We also have uh, <coughs> Atul Agarwal, the managing director of Mercator Lines, joining us on the phone line. So let's just digress from the trading picks for one minute. Uh, uh, Atul, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, how do you read this news that uh, uh, state-owned companies will now have to use domestic shipping lines uh, for uh, their export uh, import requirements? Is uh, how much will your will the business for the Indian shipping industry increase? We are hoping that uh, this measure will uh, support the Indian shipping industries in a large way because mm -hmm. currently Indian shipping companies carry less than 10% of the Indian cargo. So we have requested the government to allow us to carry far more cargo than what we were doing earlier. So this would, should be a big boost for the Indian shipping companies. And the government is also promoting coastal shipping, mm -hmm. coastal transportation of cargo by sea in a big way, mm -hmm. which we are thankful to the government for. And we see that the fruits will bear, uh, will bear fruits in the near future. But okay. it's not a done deal yet, is it? It's more in terms of uh, 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 something the government intends to make it make as a rule. Well, we have requested the government, and the government is looking at it very seriously, and we are hoping that it will become reality very soon. Okay, uh, Mr. Agarwal, you said that the Indian shipping industry as a whole carries 10% of the government cargo. But what proportion of your shipping revenues currently comes from state-owned companies? Yeah, the revenues from state-owned co companies will be roughly like 50%. Okay. okay. Hmm. So your so revenues 50% whole... come from uh, uh, state-owned uh, companies? That is correct. Okay, now if it is 10% uh, and it rises to 50% for the industry, can you give us a volume uh, uh, increase? What is the volume now and what will 50% mean? 50% would mean a large jump in the total scheme of things. That will mean Indian shipping industry also has to grow. It will not happen over a, it, this will happen only gradually. Hmm. This cannot happen overnight because the Indian shipping companies will also have to expand by ships. But once we get cargo and we get fixed employments, mm. then obviously we have the ability to borrow money and buy ships. Okay. So do you have the capacity to service any bump up in orders or will you have to put in fresh capacity and make fresh investments? The capacities will have to be bumped up. Okay. And Is there a margin costing difference? Why are foreign lines preferred over yours? It is not just a question of... Uh, <coughs> Margin call. It's a question of availability of capacities as well. Okay. The Indian shipping companies in the last few years have not grown substantially as they should have. Indian volume of cargo has grown far more. Indian exim trade has grown far more than the Indian shipping companies could grow. So, uh, as a whole, can you just tell us how much will your capacity have to be raised? How much could your volumes go up by? And any ballpark figure of how much the shipping industry as a whole could grow? See, currently we are at 10 million GRD, that is a term we use. Mm. So it has to grow to at least twice of that. Mm. Okay. Okay, now of this 10 million GRT, at the moment how much is being done by the state-owned companies and how much can it rise to? In, in the next one year, how much more business can come if this rule is marginally applied? Substantially more. Okay. You should keep all Indian ships very busy. Okay. Okay. When do you see uh, your own company report uh, uh, quarterly profits? Because in the quarter gone by as well, you were sitting on a loss of almost about 35 odd crores. But that losses was primarily due to our subsidiary in Singapore, which is the dry boys division. Our other divisions are not making incorrect losses. All right. We expect to declare in the first half of November. Sorry? Our board meeting is scheduled for the first half of November for the quarterly results. All right. Fair enough. <clears throat> Thanks for joining us and taking us through that. So that's the word coming.